I'm Rob Wilkinson, and I'm running to be your state representative in Pennsylvania's 61st Legislative District. That district consists of Lower Gwynedd, North Wales, Tower Menson, Upper Gwynedd and parts of Whitpain Township. I've produced this video and hope to produce a follow-on set to tell you a little bit more about myself and my positions, so that you'd be better able to vote for me come November. First, a little bit about myself. I was born in the northeast of England. Viewers of Downton Abbey will no doubt be familiar with the region. It's North Yorkshire, southwest Durham. I grew up in a very small town called Barnard Castle. I think you'll agree that's an unusual name for a town. But the town grew up around a castle of the same name. That castle was built in the 11th, 12th century and it was built to protect the population from the then raiding Scots. The town grew up around the castle and eventually took its name. It was a lovely little market town in which to grow up. And I also went to the equivalent of high school in Barnard Castle. It had a pretty good school called Barnard Castle School that drew pupils from all over the United Kingdom and indeed internationally. From there, I went to university in London. Interestingly enough, growing up in a very small town, I couldn't wait to get away to the big city, London. And my university, the University of Hertfordshire, was right on the outskirts of London. I wanted to do a degree in computer science. And at the time I did it, there weren't that many places that you could do a computer science degree. Most places would offer you mathematics and computer science or economics and computer science. University of Hertfordshire was one of the first and few places to offer a full computer science degree. So I jumped at the chance to go there and go to London. Now bear in mind, this was the late 60s. Cast your mind back to 1967, Sergeant Pepper by the Beatles had just been released. The Rolling Stones were playing free concerts in Hyde Park, The Who were playing down at the local pub, and Pink Floyd were playing our college dances. So it was a pretty good time to be at university and to be at university in London. During that computer science degree, I was actually sponsored by an American company called Honeywell, which meant I had to work for them for two six months uh, training periods and for that they would pay me during the training periods and then they gave me an additional bursary to live on while I was in college. So that was a pretty good deal and that was my first introduction to American computer companies. When I graduated I took what today would be called a gap year and went to play for a rock and roll band. Admittedly I can hear you saying to yourself he doesn't look like somebody who's played in a rock and roll band. Well, this is quite some time ago, and if you're interested in the photograph of the era, send me an email, I'll be happy to send it to you. The problem about being in a rock and roll band, in England especially, was that there was no money in it. It was a lot of fun, and I toured the length and breadth of the kingdom, uh, but didn't make any money whatsoever. So a year later, I went back to my original uh, computer science degree and joined an American computer company. That company was called Spurry Univac. Anyone with a history in the Bluebell area will recognize that name because it was headquartered in Bluebell, Pennsylvania. Its successor company, Unisys, is still headquartered there today. So I was sent over to help develop a new computer system in the days when you actually did develop systems from scratch. All of the hardware, all of the software, everything. And I was here about a year. Eventually I got married to an American uh, citizen. We moved back to the United Kingdom and the economy at the time in the UK was not particularly good and my wife then missed her family here in the US so we agreed that we would move back. So in the late 70s we moved back to the United States. Eventually had children uh, eventually I got involved in all kinds of organizations and my life grew around my United States uh, citizenship. I became a citizen in 1992. 
Over the course of the next uh, several years, I was involved with many uh, US computer companies as technical support, as sales, and eventually in marketing, and ultimately strategic marketing. Eventually, after the end of that career, I became an entrepreneur and started a couple of my own businesses, one of which is still going today, which is a digital afterlife company. So you can see that my primary background is one of technology, which is why we're doing this video today, uh, and as an entrepreneur and as a, and as a businessman. Eventually I got involved in politics and through politics came to understand what the role of a state representative was and what our current state representative was doing. The kinds of votes that she was making, the kinds of philosophy and positions that she had. And in subsequent videos I'll go over that with you. For now I want to thank you for listening to me. Thank you for sharing these few moments with me and I look forward to the next videos describing my positions to you. Thank you, and have a great day.